Act 3. Uh, at Rise of Curtain, we see the same scene at the end of Act 2. There has been no time lapse. Three glares angrily at eight. He is still held by two jurors. After a long pause, three shakes himself loose and turns away. He walks to the window. The other jurors move away and stand around the room now. They are shocked by his display of anger. There is silence. And the door opens and the guard enters. He looks around the room. Is there anything wrong, gentlemen? I heard some noise. No. There's nothing wrong, points to the larger diagram of the apartment. You can take that back. We're finished with it. The guard nods and takes the diagram. He looks curiously at some jurors and then goes out. Jurors still are silent. Some of them begin to sit down slowly at the table. Four is still seated. Three still stands at window. He turns around. Now jurors look at him. Well, what are you looking at? They turn away. He goes back to his seat now. He puts his chair back at right end of table. Silently, rest of jurors, including four, but excluding eleven, take their seats. Twelve begins to doodle on a piece of paper. Eleven moves and leans reflectively against the wall. Ten blows his nose, but no one speaks. Then finally, I don't see why we have to behave like children here. Nor do I. We have a responsibility. This is a remarkable thing about democracy. That we are, what is the word? Ah, notified that we are notified by mail to come down to this place and decide on the guilt or innocence of a man, of a man we have not known before. We have nothing to gain or lose by our verdict. This is one of the reasons why we are strong. We should not make it a personal thing. Thank you very much. Why do you thank me? We forget. It's good to be reminded. I'm glad that we are going to be civilized about this. Well, we're still nowhere. No, we're somewhere. We're getting there. Maybe. Maybe. Who's got an idea? I think maybe we should try another vote. Mr. Foreman? It's all right with me. Anybody doesn't want to vote? Looks around the table. Most of them shake their heads. Eleven has moved to table and takes a seat. Let's vote. Yeah, let, vote. So, all right, let's do it. I want an open ballot. Let's call out our votes. I want to know who stands where. That sounds fair. Anyone object? All right, I'll call off your jury numbers. He takes out a pencil and paper and makes num marks in one of two columns after each vote. I vote guilty. Number two, not guilty. Three, guilty. Four, guilty. Five, not guilty. Six, not guilty. Seven, guilty. Eight, not guilty. Nine, not guilty. Ten, guilty. Eleven, not guilty. Twelve, guilty. That's six to six. I'll tell you something. That crime is being committed right in this room. The vote is six to six. I'm ready to walk in a court right now and declare a hung jury. There's no point in this going on anymore. I'd like to know why you changed your mind. And why you changed your mind. And why you did. There are six men here who think that we may be turning a murderer loose in the streets. Emotions won't do. Why? It would seem that the old man did not see the boy run downstairs. I do not think it likely that the old man heard someone scream, I'm going to kill you. Old men dream, and if the boy did scream that he was going to kill, then we have the authority of this man, motioning at three, to prove that it might not really mean he's going to kill. Why don't we take it in to the judge and let the kid take his chances with 12 other guys? Six to six, I don't think we'll ever agree on anything. It's got to be unanimous, and we're never going to convince him. At first I was alone. Now five others agree. There is doubt. 